Hi, welcome back again and uh, I'm Mangesh and I'm continuing with my DML statements. In previous video, we have learned how to use insert statement. Uh, I don't want to make video lengthy, so that's the reason I'm trying to make a some short video where you can learn the statement easily, Do see the practices also and uh, do practice on your same database also. See, you require only hands-on knowledge to get settled in IT industry. So here uh, I wanted to tell you in previous video what I have done is I have just given you the example of insert statements. In this video, I'll cover update and delete also. I have created only basic table in my database. And while uh, learning delete, we will check what is the use of truncate one also. And commit and rollback we have seen in previous video. Uh, if this video will not get lengthy, then we will cover the save point part also. So let me uh, go to my database again. This is what my table already exists in my database. Select star from EMP1. And I want to update some columns over here because 103 employee is showing here, but name is not here. So I will update the new name in front of that 103. So for that, to modify the table, we will use update statement. Okay, so how to use update statement. But before using uh, update, I want to just cover one more example of insert statement. So let me jump to my book. Here they have given one uh, good example about the inserting a record into employees table. Uh, insert into employees. Uh, they wanted to insert some information in employee ID, first name, last name, email, then phone number, then hire date, job ID, salary. Commission PCT column is there, manager ID is there, department ID. So these are the list of the columns present in employees table. And where you can check it, you need to do only DSC command. DESC employees, it will show you the list of the columns present in your employees table. Now you can see uh, under employees and you can see the length of that particular column also. Under employee ID, you can put up to six digit. So they wanted to insert this record. Uh, 113 is an employee ID, Lewis is a first name, then Pop is a last name, uh, L Pop is an email ID, this is a phone number and they have highlighted seize date. Seize date is a function which will help you to insert today's date into your table. Now let me say do uh, I don't have a higher date column in my table actually. Uh, actually to uh, alter the table because adding a column that automatically you are altering the table. So. If you want to add the column into a table, then that time you cannot use insert because use of insert is what only insert a rows or records into a table, not a column. So alter statement I will cover later also. This is a small example uh, which will help me to add a new column in this table. Alter table EMP1 and I am adding one column. Add, add. I want to add higher date and uh, data type is a date for this column so let me execute this semicolon i got one message table emp1 is altered let me see select star from emp1 oh i have not select entire query select star from emp1 there is a one more column added in at the last okay so alter statement i will cover when i will uh, See, I'm planning one revision lecture on SQL also where I'll cover all statements with example. So now I want to use update statement and uh, I want to insert date over here also. Okay, so you can use update statement to update any kind of values in that particular column. So before covering update, I'll give the insert statement example also in here. I want to insert a new record with current date. So insert into EMP1 and my values. You can put values in SQL query is one liner also. But why I'm entering it? Because this is right way to present. Under employee ID, I want to insert triple one. That is my employee ID. Uh, let me add one name and uh, name of my employee is Rajesh. Uh, employee ID is a 50. Salary is 8000. And I want to insert today's date. So I'm using sys date as a function to insert today's date. So let me execute this query. You can see the output. One row is inserted. See the column uh, tables output. Yes. If this record is correct, go ahead and use commit because if you will not use commit, then this record will not get saved permanently. 
So commit used to save the DML changes permanently. If you have done anything wrong, then use rollback. Okay. So in this way, you can do the practice. Now, uh, I wanted to learn the update statement. To learn update statement, what modification you require in this table? So see, 103 employee is showing, but his name is showing null. His department ID is also showing null. So I want to add his name here. Uh, 103 employee name is a uh, let me put uh, ram 103 is a ram so how to update this table to update the table obviously update will come in the picture okay so oops. Uh, okay update after update you need to give the table name my table name is emp1 then set will come in the picture under set which column you need to update I want to update that EMP name column. So EMP underscore name. What value you need to add under that column? I want to add RAM. Okay. Okay. So unfortunately, I have executed my query here. Then see what will happen. It is showing that eight rows are updated. So it means you have done something wrong. What wrong I have done? Check. Select star from emp1 let me execute this query oh it is updated ram name for everyone which is wrong i wanted to update it only for this this record for employee 103 but it is updated for everyone why because you have omitted where clause here so first of all do roll back because this is a wrong thing so let me roll back it because i have not used commit so I can easily do the rollback after commit. You cannot use rollback. So let me roll back the changes first. Okay. And uh, see, select star from EMP one and the records. Yeah, that uh, now it undo the changes. So let me add the update the record again in systematically way. See, I, I only wanted to update for employee ID one zero three. So in where clause I mention it where EMP underscore ID is equal to 103 okay what will happen it will only update the record for this row only so let me execute this query and see it is giving you the message also one row is updated and see select star from EMP one only that record is updated see if it is a good then go ahead and execute the commit so i have saved these changes permanently similar examples we can see in the book also uh, in the next i'll show you uh, copying rows from another table means subquery which we already covered so changing in changing data into a table that's a reason uh, we will use the update statement used to change the data into a table so update statement in front of update you need to mention the table name under set you need to mention all the columns where you need to update the data and where condition is very important if you miss the where clause then it will do the changes for all the rows so they have given uh, some examples over here uh, it's a book example they wanted to update employees table set department id is equal to 70 where employee ID is equal to 113 they wanted to update this value for this employee and it will automatically get updated but good practice is what first check what is a dept id for this sorry what is the employee id it's a 113 with the help of one uh, this query you are going to update 70 department 70 department id for this employee but before doing these changes first check what id what is the current id because if you'll use the commit and later unnecessary if we have done some mistake then that time you are not able to roll back and now i am not aware what is the department id of this employee so first check it and then go ahead and update it how you will check it uh, what is the department department id is allocated to this employee with the help of select code select statement we can easily check select i want to check employee underscore id then uh, if you want his name check department underscore id from employees where employee 
underscore id is equal to 113 so currently you can see 113 his name is Luis and his department id is 100 and with the help of that update statement you are doing changes here automatically uh, uh, instead of 100 70 will get updated 70 will update it for this employee and later you have used commit then these changes will get permanently saved so after commit you cannot use rollback uh, you if you want to undo the changes then before commit you need to use the rollback statement next they have given one example update copy mp set department id is equal to 110 22 rows are updated means you have omitted the where clause and all records got updated so in this way uh, it will show you all do not you uh, see while using update query you need to take that precautions do, do we really require where clause yes or no then go ahead with the update statement because uh, this is very important update will do the changes in the prod table so i want you to take the precautions check it verify it and validate your changes also and then close your query if you are work, working in the production level so uh, let me go to my table at a time i want to update three columns select star from employee oh no my table is emp1 so uh, santosh his department id is null and salary is null so so i wanted to update department id as a 50 and salary as a 5000 for santosh okay so how i will do it uh, let me start insert sorry i will use update emp1 set uh, first i want to update dept underscore id is equal to 50 second i want to update salary is equal to 5000 for whom if i will again i will execute my query here eight rows are updated you have done wrong see the output everyone's department and salary is 5000 which is wrong so let me roll back it because i have not saved this now roll back complete check okay so now i am using my where clause here because i want to do it for the santosh only so where emp underscore name is equal to santosh now how many santosh available in my table for them department id is equal to 50 and salary is equal to 5000 will get updated now i have only one record then i can go with this also if you have multiple santosh available in your table then go with your unique id which is employee id so let me execute this because it will update only one record because I have only one Santosh. So see. Now the changes looks good. Then go ahead and use commit statement also. And you can use a sub query also under update statement. To get this value to your set clause. To get this value to your set clause. For that particular for particular column, you can use subquery also. And in the book also, they have given the example. So I wanted to read it for you. See, guys, uh, they want to update this table. Uh, and under uh, employees table, they wanted to update the job ID. And which job ID they want? We have one more employee in my uh, company. Uh, that employee's employee ID is a 205 you and the salary of that employees has to be matched with 114 okay so i wanted to match here job id i wanted to update here salary and job id for whom 114 but what kind of job id and salary whatever salary this person has 205 whatever salary this person has and whatever job id this person has same has to be updated for this but ideally what i will use i will check what is the job id for this control c control v job id is ac manager salary 12008 and similarly later i will use update statement update employees update employees then set job underscore id job id ac 
manager ac underscore mgr now it will come in single single code to get this value they are using subquery guys next uh, they wanted to update salary also as 12008 12008 so to get this value again they are using subquery and to whom we need to update where employee underscore id is equal to 118 oh sorry 114 so this is what the proper query in updates to in update statement i mostly will not use sub query because if you are doing some kind of changes in database then take some precautions it's okay it will not take more than uh, one sec to get that information get that information and add it and do not make your query complex in production level so this is what my advice for you so go ahead and practice with update also because uh, i don't want to make this video again very lengthy so i want you to do practice about the update one and uh, in the next video uh, i'll cover the delete statement and truncate as well because mostly in the intro you'll face some questions on delete and truncate so that video will come soon and i'll update it once that video is prepared thanks for watching this video see you again